up, everybody? Welcome to Tones Over Thinks It, the show where I think too much to make up for the people who don't think at all. Sorry I'm not there in person at the moment. We kind of had a little bit of an accident last week here in the bunker. Biasness. I'm that sorry, would be relevant. Wait, wait. Goes to what? B- biased. Bias? Biased. No, bias. B-I-A-S. Not, there's no T at the end. Bias. I so want to make sure I understand so, so your reasoning correctly, how, sir. Correct so something. it's how you're saying it goes to bias. How does it go to bias of this witness, sir? I'm giving you the opportunity. It's called an offer of proof. Okay, I said I would I, recall the I'm witness well aware, if I I'm determined. I'm well aware what an offer of proof is. Okay. I'm well aware. So make your offer. I mean, personally, I don't know what the fuss is all about. I mean, sure, She-Hulk and Daredevil never got together in the comics, but when you really stop and think about it, why haven't they? I mean, they're both lawyers, and their MCU versions have pretty decent chemistry, so I'd say have at it. Oh, shit! Oh, what the now, before anybody panics, don't worry, Fezzington is perfectly alright. Aren't you, buddy? You call this fine. What, you haven't been enjoying your spacious new accommodations? Spacious. You stuffed me into an old hard drive loaded with a bunch of Firefly fan fictions and a collection of pirated Mel Brooks movies. Hey, don't get pissed at me. I'm not the one who decided to watch all of Daryl Brooks' trial in one sitting. I mean, there's too much soft set fuckery even for you to handle. Alright, whatever. Is my new body finished yet? Just putting the finishing touches on it now, and okay, we're ready to activate and begin the download. Okay, Igor, elevate me. Yes, I mean raise the platform. What possible context could you take out of that statement? All right, get ready to throw that first switch. You've got it, master. Ready, get set, go. Throw the second switch. Throw the third switch. Not the third switch. Can you just throw the damn thing and stop being so overdramatic? God, this is why I hate hiring through Fiverr. Flies! Flies, do you hear me? Give my creation! Flies! Turn everything off and bring me down. Well... That might have been needlessly overdramatic. Well, you do overthink everything. Wait a minute, why does my voice sound so different? Sorry, pal. New body, new voice box. Sounds good, though. I sound like an absolute wanker now. Why can't I have my old one? Well, your old one's in a million pieces, so if you like jigsaw puzzles and have all the time in the world, be my guest. Now, if you're done expressing your heartfelt gratitude, how about we cover a classic Moore Sovereign Citizen video? All right, fine. But the next time you are the one who blows up, don't expect to find yourself the same way after you get put back together. Fair enough. Good to have you back, pal. She can speak to you. No. That's what, that's no, what it is. It's no, just, no, no. She can let her know. This is like the fifth time she's bothering me. Okay. Let her know. Don't bother me again. Okay. But All if right. you go to sleep, you will, you no, will no, no, no. be forced out of here. You can't force me out of nowhere. Yes. yes. Yes, and you're on private you, property. And it, you're on private property. You can't force me out of nowhere. I'm letting you know. I'm okay, the executor we'll of you know the land. So we have this classic video of a Moorish American national who claims to be the executor of the land, but really he just looks like a homeless guy who's trying to sleep in a Starbucks. What's your name? Oh, I'm Anderson. Right Anderson, Anderson, what's your badge number? That's all you need. Deputy no. Anderson. 
That's what's your badge need. number? Deputy Anderson. What's your badge number? I'm Deputy letting you Anderson. Know. I'm, letting you know I'm letting you know that you cannot see I'm the loyal executive of this land. Okay. Okay. So we're and unless you, know. you have proof of claim, you have jurisdiction That's over the subject matter right. pending, don't speak to me again, Anderson. It's not good for you. You're wrong. Just stay away. That's it. Just, just follow the process. Don't tell me what to do. I don't take orders. Don't talk to me. I don't take orders. Do you got it? Don't talk to me. I don't take orders. You can't tell me what to do. Warning. Okay. You look don't give warning. me a warning. Look at this, look at this warning. Unless you have proof of claim that you have jurisdiction over this matter pending, you, don't speak to me again. Reason? If you slander me again, Chavez, are you, are you I'm going to lean you. Sir? I'm going to call the insurance company today. Okay. I'm going to subpoena You're your bond. Welcome. You're more than welcome. I'm going to subpoena your foreign agent registration statement that you don't have. Well, good luck with that. I'm beginning to see a pattern here. Everything about this guy tells us he's likely of middling intellect. Obviously holds no real power or authority, is homeless, so he has no property or assets. Yet he is engaged in this deluded fantasy that he somehow is the smartest and most powerful person in the room, and there is no authority valid but his own. Yeah, that is pretty accurate. But then, as a well-known therapist once said, a person should always choose a costume which is in direct contrast to her own personality. What's going on? How you doing? Yeah. I'm great. See, what's your I know is what's your first name? What can I call you? I prefer you not to speak to me, but since you insist, well, call me master. Are you serious? I'm sorry, but if you're someone who actually thinks people in the real world are gonna call you that. You will die alone. What can I do for you? Okay. They asked you to leave. Starbucks asked you guys to leave. She can't make me leave nowhere. She's gonna get fired for whatever she's doing. Discriminating me. What? 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 Look, I'm a sensible person who doesn't see race, but I'm pretty sure I could say with absolute certainty that there is no way that she can discriminate against you. Tell her to call her district manager or her store manager since she's called the police to his establishment on the landlord. What dimension are you from where that is true? You want to prove it? You're going to find out. Leave me alone. That's what you can do. Tell her to leave me alone or arrest her for slander and public embarrassment. Yeah, that's not going to happen. What's your badge number? What's your name? What's your name? What? Officer. What's your name and badge number? Officer. What's your name and badge number? Can you stand up, please? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I love how that officer threw away his bull paperwork like an absolute boss. You get up, please. No. <laughs> listen, if you don't get up and leave peacefully, they're going to have you arrested for trespassing. Hey, listen. If you, you what I just told you? if you threaten me again, you will be arrested for extortion. No one's threatening you. Do you understand what I just said to you? Yes or no? Do you understand what I just said to you? Yes or no? You can do whatever you have to do. I will. Okay. Do you understand what I just told you? Do you intend to injure me? No. Do you intend to deprive me of any of my fundamental rights? Pretty sure going to Starbucks is not listed amongst our fundamental rights. I mean, there is one on practically every corner, and people are pretty obsessed with pumpkin spice lattes around this time of year, so hey, it could be in the future. So, unless you have proof of claim that you have jurisdiction over the subject matter pending, stop speaking to me. Speak to them. Speak to them. They are renters of my land. This is my building. This is not private. I'm a private. The problem with you is you're completely delusional. I'm going to hit you out with a RICO Act for extortion. I'm going to subpoena your bonds and your okay. foreign registration agent, which you don't have. I feel like we've been here before. Have we been here before? I'm not playing games with you. Don't play any games with you. Okay, well, talk to them. Tell them to leave me alone. Talk to them who? 
whoever hired you. It's their business. If they don't want you here, they have the right to keep you out. Prove it. Prove it. Prove it. Show me the love Prove it. That's the law of the land. Sorry, sir. No? You don't make the rules here. Is your voice, audio, and video equipment working? Yeah, of course it is. It is? It's yours? Unfortunately it is, because on top of hearing this moron's absolute nonsense, they all insist on filming vertically. It's the 21st century for God's sake, turn your phones sideways. If you leave, we're out of here, this is the end of it, we're done. They can't put me out of no building, you know that. Uh, so that's where you're wrong. Prove it. I will admit. Alright. I prefer you just talking to me outside. Well, I prefer you, you to prove it, to honestly. Like a gentleman. I'm asking you Who took an oath? I did. Who has an obligation? Why do you keep doing that? What does that mean? What's what mean? Your thumb. What does that mean? My thumb? Yes, what does that mean? What does what mean? You put your thumb on your chin and put it up. Like that? Yes. Oh, you don't know what that means? No, that's why I'm asking. Oh, that means I snatch your apr aprons. I took ropes really tight around monkey's necks, right? I deport them off my land, and if they extort me, if they threaten me, if they injure me, I have them arrested by the army and punished. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought? Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Where's the Where's the owner? She said she called the owner. Or the Or the store manager. She's a shift leader. She can't call the police on me. Look at her. She thinks she's so smooth, don't she? But she just gave me the building. Because y'all are getting evicted. Prove it. 479. Since you want to continue to uh, harass me or threaten me, I'm putting you on notice. As, as of this moment, you're being charged 5000 per minute to be paid in silver. Just when I think you've said the stupidest thing ever, you keep talking. Oh, yo, mean dog. Where's my car? Where's my car? You should you you should tow my car back to where you got it from. I won't do that. Well, then you know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna charge you all with extortion. I have a feeling this might be the same Moore who called 911 to report his car stolen when in fact it was lawfully towed for having no registration, and proceeded to give us roughly an hour's worth of talking in circles with multiple officers. Frankly, I'm not interested in putting any of us through that headache. So we all know where this is going, so let's just skip ahead to that part. So I'm gonna stand up right now, because it looks like they intend to violate me. Uh, even after I definitely show them who I am. You know, the whole world's watching you right now. Pretty sure the number of people who've watched this stupidity doesn't come remotely close to the whole world. The whole world is watching you be dishonorable and unlawful. So, here you are. You're threatening me, you're being dis dishonorable, and you're being unlawful. Truly, leave one more time. Please leave. Truly, oh, 479. Lopez, 514. Gonzalez, he doesn't have a badge number. How are you operating on my land? Nope, nope, stop talking, go to jail. Uh, are you gonna leave or no? We're just asking one last time, sir. Will you leave? Yes or no? You do not have jurisdiction right. to put me out of anywhere. Well, that it is. And there you have it, folks. Once again, another absolutely deluded Moore on his way to jail.
indeed, and like all the others he certainly will not have learned his lesson, and will continue to act like a fool, demanding everything in life he cannot be bothered to put in the hard work to obtain like the rest of us. Because he wants to be king of his own little world and doesn't want to have to answer to anyone. But then again, maybe you're just overthinking it. I object to that. Grounds. Oh don't even start that sh** again. You know it's gonna take us another week just to get the smell of burnt wiring out of the library. Well, thanks for watching everybody. If you like what you see here and you want to see us do even more in the future, feel free to drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Till next time.